Now we're here in the lab today. Uh, we had some questions on the uh, GR9 series and the control board and we thought it'd be just be easiest to uh, make a quick video for you on uh, programming the GR9 board. Well, we're doing our transition to the R32 furnaces. You'll notice we come out of the GM9 and we'd be going into the GR9. In this case uh, the T 96 will be the one we're displaying a two-speed. I do want to note that the last six faults have went to F10 for 10 faults. So instead of looking for your L6F, we're going to scroll and see F10, uh, and then we'll scroll through. I put some errors in here. Uh, a little confusing with our speeds, F1 through F9 for the blower motor. I just wanted to note that. I get that question often. Let's go ahead and talk about the next question we get. Uh, and that is going to be the AHS for automatic heat setting. Uh, it ships to you from the factory in the no position. So you have a W1 and a W2, and it's looking for two-stage stat. And if we scroll down to the AHS and hit the center button, we'll see a no, meaning uh, no on the automatic time settings. Now, if we are not going to use a two-stage stat, we can scroll left to right and see automatic and we can see our 60 minutes, our 30 minutes, our 20 minutes, and our 10. Automatic will uh, uh, try its best to hit the 20 minute mark. It'll start sooner or later uh, to try and always get in there. In this case, we'll hit no, hit the center button twice. Our number one question is uh, yes, it ships in the R32 function. And if you're not using an R32 condenser and did not plug in the R32 sensor, you will get an error. You'll jump into EAF with F09 for high fan speed. So in this case, we're going to scroll to the A2 enable, which is A2E. You'll see it ships it yes. We'll hit the button, go to no, hit the center button twice to program it. And now we'll recycle power. And after a recycle of power, we'll see it is now no longer a A2L furnace. And it will no longer look for that sensor. Please remember, every change you make, you'll push the center button two times in order to store the change. Uh, I do have expectations of seeing status codes appear on the screen along with the F for the fan speed. I wanted to add this at the end of the video uh, to let you know that the units are shipping ready A2L uh, and the fans are set up to operate with loss of sensor or seeing a leak. Uh, as we disable that for heat only function or running on a maybe R14A system or we're going to install the R32 at a future date, uh, keep in mind it is our job as a professional, our liability, as a matter of fact, to make sure we re-enable that function. Uh, when we do install an R32 system, we need to run a verification. And in this case, it is A2E uh, to verify it set up properly. Uh, again, I wanted to add this just as a uh, reminder. to. And as always, the TSA is at John Stone Cafferty Group. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you.